Hello, so today I'm going to be doing a video, sort of just a very brief one, because I don't have the air supply for it, to this Polish NBC suit, or CBRN suit, hazmat suit, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't actually on this have a hood included, so you'd wear it with a gas mask. Um, but yeah, the only problem is it needs an airline, so if I show you that there, that would be where you'd connect the airline to it. So what that obviously does is you constantly have air being blown in via like an oxygen tank and air tank into the suit and then what happens is obviously the suit inflates using that and then when it reaches pressure the valves in the suit let the air out. So it works in a similar way to when you have a PAPR system making one of these run but um, this one obviously does it via um, an airline. I mean in theory I've got an old oxygen like pump for an aquarium so I don't know if you, you know, I don't have it handy, but I wondered if you put that on if it would have enough beef to do it, but probably not. Um, in the sleeves, as usual, you've got one of the air hoses that's designed to help inflate where your gloves are and everything. So, oh, rain's quite heavy. So, what I'm going to do now is just step into this. Uh, I'm not going to bother putting a mask on with it because um, it's Milagro, apparently, the name on the sort of output valves. What these suits are designed to do is when they reach pressure they just have outlet valves that let the air out. It's quite heavy as you'd expect because it's got the massive Wellington style boots on it. Ow, that just hurt because I hit my sock with one. Um, there's a load of Polish I can't read on the boots. Anyway, let's get my legs in this. So this is quite similar suit-wise to the Oob one or whatever it was, I did the video on before. But that one actually had the included hood and was obviously designed to run on a um, PAPR. Whereas this one is um, basically like an airline one and you'd wear a mask separately. I mean, although with a lot of hazmat suits you do see in videos of them being used that the... Um, you know, like there's a gas mask being worn as like an extra layer of protection underneath, so... Let's get this up to at least here. Let's stick my arm through, or have I put that through the head? I think I've put that one through the head, haven't I? Yeah, there we go. So let's get my arm through the sleeve. Arm through the other sleeve. Probably quite difficult to watch on. Oh, there he is. In some ways this is easier to put on than a regular NBC suit. Well, let me pan that up. There you go. So that's what this looks like being worn here. Obviously I've not zipped it up yet. So the zip is on the front, so that should at least be easy. And you can see in there where the airline system connects to the pipes inside, if I get that in frame. So obviously that just connects to various bits and then the pipes blow air through the suit evenly rather than it just all coming out sort of in the chest area. So, let's find where I got the zip. Where did I put the zip? Hmm. Under there somewhere? That's weird. Or is it a dual zip? Oh, okay, I think it's a dual zip. I still can't <laughs> spot where I've got the zip. Okay, that's weird. Unless the zip's slightly damaged and it's undone. Right, anyway, let me um, try and sort this out and then I will restart the video. But the boots at least fit me quite well on this. It's just um, obviously zipping the entire thing up. Okay, so the issue was that the zip's actually at the top, so you zip it from up to down. So you have to put your head through the hood bit, and then zip it up. So basically, there we go, that's zipped up. Then this, I guess, goes over here to add an extra layer of protection, sort of just a Velcro's on. And the hood, if you had a gas mask on with it, would just be there like that with your gas mask on. So this is a lot easier to just use than that Oob one because it's not actually as bulky. Um, although it's a very similar style of suit. I think the main difference is just because of the fact that 
you know, your hood system is just using a regular gas mask. Um, this isn't too difficult to move about in actually. I know it's not inflated at the moment, but this is definitely more comfortable than the other one. Um, yeah, this isn't bad at all. I mean, obviously I've not got separate gloves on with it. And as you can see, the bottom bit is just um, like Wellington boots, like waders sort of attached to uh, this, but yeah. This isn't bad at all actually. Um, so you've got quite stiff cuffs on here, which are obviously designed so it's a good seal with a glove. And then obviously this makes it positive pressure by having the air blowing out into each of the gloves. Uh, so that makes that seal sort of safe. Um, yeah, the zip's actually a diagonal as well, which I don't know if that makes it a bit easier to do the zip up and down. And then as said, your head is inside one of these rubberized hoods, so that's what pulls it tight. And then obviously the mask, you'd be wearing the mask as usual. And then that would basically make the seal tight around your mask. So thanks to Beastall for sending me this. It's an interesting thing. Um, as cool as the other moon suit style one is, I think this is actually more practical. I mean, yes, you're going to need an airline uh, for it, which I don't think many people are going to have, like an oxygen tank or some sort of... Um, you know, air compressor type thing constantly running it. Um, well, we probably wouldn't want an air compressor, would you? But, because um, if there's hazards in the environment, that would take it in. But yeah, this is a cool thing, like I said. Um, but yeah, this this is the sort of one where, um, I imagine you could wear this just normally like an NBC suit, like a rubberized NBC suit. And to be fair, it's a lot more comfortable than the old commie packed, um, you know, like NBC suits, which are all rubberized like this. The zip is a much easier thing just to, you know, open and close the entire suit up. But yeah, it, it's a cool thing. Um, like I said, it's actually fairly comfortable for what it is. I mean, with the heavy rain we're having at the moment, I imagine this would actually be a fairly good thing for keeping you completely dry. Um, you know, because like I said, the waders are all built into it. So it's um, a completely sealed off suit. Um, so that's good. But yeah, so the practicality thing is obviously you would need something to pressurise it there. Um, so obviously I'd assume you'd on your back have some sort of like air tank, oxygen tank. That would have a hose going into there and it would slowly through a pressure regulator let out air to keep the suit inflated. Um, just to make it positive pressure so therefore safer than the standard NBC suit because any little gaps in the suit the air blows out of it rather than into it. But there you go, so um, Polish yellow NBC suit, whatever it's called. It's in a language I can definitely not read. Um, but yeah, it's, um, like I said, it's actually not a bad suit in terms of movement ability, despite how bulky it looks. Don't want to bang my head on the ceiling, but yeah, you can actually, the stiffest bit in this are the boots, because I guess, are they steel toe caps? I think they're steel toe caps as well. So yeah, the boots on this are actually more like proper um, rigger boot style boots. Yeah, so hopefully, just to take it off, let's see if I can do that on video now. I just simply undo that, get the zip, pull the zip up, and it starts moving. There we go. So pull the zip all the way up. There we go. Pull my head through there, let my head back out through that bit. There we go, and then get the sleeves off. Then in theory, you just step out with it. I think, yep. So there we go. Giant Polish NBC suit of some sort. Let me show you the bit of writing that's on the boot in case that's good for IDing it. it looks like a firefighter sort of person on the um, picture. Yeah, there's, anyway, there's the uh, label that's on the boot if the camera focuses in the dim rainy lighting yeah hopefully that tells you something about what it is